Why is insulin so damned expensive? Hey everybody, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel for another My Take about more health stuff and me complaining about the expenses of diabetes. As I've talked about before, I wear an insulin pump, some links up here and stuff, and you're supposed to use the fast acting insulin in it, which in this case is Humalog. There's also Novolog, but it's the fast acting um, little vial looks like this. This stuff is like liquid gold. Um, just to give you an idea, my three months of insulin with insurance, y'all, with insurance, $900. That's 12 vials. $900 for three months of insulin with insurance. Yeah. But I did some research. Part of some online groups. Uh, a lot of people with long-term chronic illnesses tend to form in groups and discuss tips with each other and what we can do to help each other and stuff. And I found an alternative. Now, it is not what doctors recommend. You are supposed to talk to your medical professional, but if you do some research, and I actually know someone and work with someone who uses the same pump I do, and switch to R insulin or regular insulin. Novolin R. Now this, with no insurance, and actually over the damn counter, is under $25. So three months of this is $300 versus three months of this, $900. I bet you can see where this is going. Now granted, they react differently. The R insulin is a slower insulin. You have to plan a little bit more ahead to keep your numbers under better control. But for me, that's worth it. And so far, my numbers have been doing pretty good. I've kind of figured out how and what I have to do to keep everything on an even keel. To save $600 every three months? Yeah. To be able to go and purchase it over the counter at Walmart of all places, instead of having to deal with Express Scripts? Yeah, because Express Scripts well, let's just say I don't like them very much. What prompted this change for me is I managed to gather and scrape the $900 and change and put it in my uh, account so that I could use my debit card and pay for my insulin. And I call and I rent to refill my insulin prescription. First of all, they force you to go through their automated system, which does not work with a purchase of that size. You cannot just order it and have them bill you. They will only allow you to be billed $150. So I know I had to pay for it straight up, right? Okay, I finally get a representative on the line and I tell them I want to use my debit card. They have an old card on file from an old FSA account that I don't have anymore, but they refuse to take off the damned account. So they tried to charge it to that. And I said, no, if you'd have waited like three seconds, I'd have given you my account number. Oh, well, can I have it now? Okay, yes, thank you. I give it to them. <clears throat> they supposedly do the thing and supposedly process my order. I get an email the next day saying, we still have to have payment before we can process your order. Are you kidding me? So I call. You've reached our automated blah, 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 blah. Representative, 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 representative. You finally get a representative if you say it enough times with enough anger in your voice, I think. Oh, well, no, we, we didn't process that different person. Of course, you can't get the same person. They never process it. I said, okay, so you've not processed it at all? No, we can, no. Cancel my order. Cancel it. Drove to Walmart, bought insulin. 
made sure I read the literature, made sure I understood the times and delays. I'd already been doing a little research anyway. And I talked to the person at work who uses the same thing I do. He explained to me how his works. Okay, here we go. So yeah, experimenting with my health a little bit, but saving me tons of money and my sanity in the process. Because now I don't have to deal with express scripts. So a nice, ah, and a, you know, kitty thing there. Shooting birds too, to express scripts. To insulin, also a big this too, because you know, it's a PITA disease. Yeah, maybe I should tell you about the gusher that I had one time. Dude, soon, soon, not today, no. I've got plenty of my takes involving everything from driving to morons to health right up here. Please hit that subscribe button over here and I'll see you next time on my take. Bye.